Lattice diagrams basically are a way of showing the sample space for multiple events occurring. So what we've got here is a six-sided dice, so normal dice, not loaded, um, fair dice, tossed twice. So we want to list the sample space for the table uh, using a table or what's called a lattice diagram. Um, so the first thing we'll do is we'll draw a draw a vertical line and a horizontal line like so. Okay, it doesn't really matter where you put uh, the result of roll one or toss one and toss two, but let's put um, toss one here and toss two up the top. Now toss one potentially can be a one, a two, a three, a four, a five, or a six. Same with toss two, a one, a two, a three, a four, a five, or a six. So they're the potential results. Now what I do is I match that up now with the sample space. So I'll do this in a different color um, pen. I'll do this in a black. So on toss one, what I'm doing is I'm rolling a one here first, followed by the relevant toss two value. In this case, it's a one and a one. In this particular one, I've rolled a two and a one next because we go two one and we've got a three comma one because that's three and one four one you'll get good at doing these and get uh, quite quick at them five comma one and six comma one okay so on toss one what we're saying is we've rolled a one and then a one a two and then a one three on the first toss and one on the second toss and so forth all right, we do the same thing over here. Basically, this represents the toss one here. So we've uh, rolled a one, comma, and now we've got a two. Then we've got a two, comma, two, three, comma, two, four, comma, two, five, comma, two, and six, comma, two. Now we're on to three. So we've rolled a one first, then a three second. One, comma, three. 2, 3, 3, 4, 5, and 3. Okay, you get the point, but I'll finish it off because we need this table to do the questions below. We've rolled a 1 first, then a 4 second, a 2 and a 4, a 3, then a 4, a 4 and a 4, 5 and a 4, and a 6 and a 4. Okay, we're nearly there, girls. Um, now I've rolled a one first and a five second. It doesn't quite line up there, but I'll just keep going anyway. Uh, then we've got a two and a five, a three and a five, a four and a five, a five and five, and a, a f uh, what am I up to? A six and a five. Okay, so we're doing a six now. We've rolled a one, then followed by a six. One comma six. 2 comma 6, 3 comma 6, 4 comma 6, 5 comma 6, and 6 comma 6. Okay, almost made it. All right, so now what we're going to do is uh, answer the questions below. So it says here, state the total number of outcomes. Well, the total number of outcomes is this, the sample space, okay? And basically, we've got um, a six by six <clears throat> uh, lattice diagram here. That means that there's a total of 36 different outcomes um, in this particular um, uh, particular multi-stage uh, multi event or multi-event. So, and basically, you know, I can get those six, those six, those six, those six, those six, and those six. So that's 36 in total. All right, now we're going to find the probability of obtaining the outcome 1, 5. So that's the probability. Where's my pen gone? The probability of a 1, then a 5, okay? And it has to happen in this order, okay? It's not a 5 and a 1, it's a 1, then a 5. So I basically go through and see how many times that comes up. There's only one possibility of that happening. That's this one here, 1 and then a 5. So the probability of that is 1 in 36. Okay, let's scroll down the page a bit. 
All right, now we want a probability of a double. That is the same number coming up once, then twice, or the same number coming up twice. So that happens here, a 1 and then a 1. We've got a 2 and a 2, 3 and a 3, 4 and a 4, a 5 and a 5, and a 6 and a 6. They're the only doubles, okay, along the um, diagonal there. So there's six potential ones that that can happen to out of a total of 36. So to simplify, it's a 1 in 6 chance of rolling a double. Okay. Now we want um, to see um, the probability of the sum of the dice being at least 10. Okay, so at least 10 includes 10, then 11, then 12. So what I'm looking for here, girls, now is any dice roll that is at least 10, that is the number 10, 11, or 12. Now, it's funny how lattice diagrams work because it's really easy to pick this out. You don't have to look through each one. I mean, I can see that this is a 2, these two are a 3 and a 3. Across here now we've got 4s, then 5s. Okay, so I basically go down the diagonal until I, I can see 10. There it is here. A 6 and a 4 is 10, 5 and a 5 is 10, and a 4 and a 6 is 10. All right, so I'm just going to rule or draw a little bit of a line here. So those are the potential ones. Now, what will happen is beyond that, all the numbers down here will all be greater than 10, or at least 10. So we've got 6 and a 5, which is 11, 5 and a 6, which is an 11, and 6 and a 6, which is 12. Okay, so all of these ones here fit the bill. We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Again, we've got a 6 in 36 chance, or a 1 in 6 chance. Okay, the probability that the sum is not equal to 7. Okay, so these are all the values um, when you add them together or the toss 1 and toss 2 when you add the results together don't equal 7. So what I'm going to do is look for all of the ones that add up to 7. Here's the first one, it's 6 and 1, that equals 7. And what will happen as I go across the diagonal, all of these ones will equal 7. Okay, so we've got a 7 there, a 7 there, 4 plus 3 is 7, 3 plus 4 is 7, 2 plus 5 is 7, 1 and 6 is 7. Okay, so that means that we're not going to include these ones. That means that everything outside of these ones are the ones that we're interested in. Okay, now there's six potential chances of rolling a 7. So what I do is I think, okay, there's 36 in total. That means that the numbers not equaling a 7 will actually be 30 out of 36 because we're not including these six um, six, sample, uh, six results from the sample space because they all add up to 7 and we don't want a 7. So we've got a 30 in 36 chance which is basically a 5 in 6 chance um, of rolling a 7. So that's basically how lattice diagrams work. That's as hard as it gets. These questions here are the only different types of questions they can ask. So once you've seen those ones, you've pretty much um, seen all the, um, all the different examples.